Now we have already learnt about verbs and we know that words that denote an action are known as verbs. They are also known as doing words. And remember that a verb is compulsory to make a meaningful sentence. Now let us read this sentence. Mom baked a pie. Now in this sentence, the word baked is showing the main action. Hence it is the main verb in the sentence. But if I say, mom is baking a pie, then in this sentence, the word baking is showing the main action. Hence, it is the main verb. And we all know that the main verb is very important in a sentence. Now, in the same sentence, the word is, is a form of the be verb, which is helping us to understand the time of the main verb, mom is baking a pie, it is happening right now in the present. Hence, this word is an auxiliary verb. So, what are main verbs? Main verbs express the main action or the state of being of the subject. Whereas, auxiliary verbs are helping verbs that complete the meaning of the main verbs of a sentence. Auxiliary verbs tell us the time of the action or the tense. They help to form a negative sentence or a question. They give us more information about the main verbs by expressing different meanings and intentions of the speaker. So have verbs do verbs, be verbs, can, may, will are all examples of auxiliary verbs. I have a lot of homework. I have completed my homework. Now both the sentences have the word have. So what is the difference of its usage in both the sentences? Let us see. Now in the first sentence, I have a lot of homework, have is showing us the main action, hence it is the main verb of the sentence. But in the second sentence, I have completed my homework, the word completed is showing the main action, hence that is the main verb in this sentence. And have is helping us to understand the complete meaning of the main verb. Hence, have is an auxiliary verb here. He can run very fast. Now, in this sentence, run is the main action of the sentence. Hence, run is the main verb. Whereas, can is showing the ability of the person. It is helping us to understand the meaning of the main verb better. Hence, can is an auxiliary verb here. I was going to school. So what do we see here? Was is the auxiliary verb. Going is showing the main action of the sentence. Hence, going is the main verb. So we see that an auxiliary verb is placed between the subject, I, and the main verb, going. Did you eat your salad? Now in this sentence, Eat is the main verb and did is our auxiliary verb here. It is a form of the do verb. So, this is a question and what do we see in case of questions? We see that the auxiliary verb is separated from the main verb by the subject. So, we have the auxiliary verb. We have the subject in between and then the main verb. I never saw such a beautiful sight. Now in this sentence, saw is our main verb and this is a negative sentence. So where have we placed the negative word never? We have placed it before the main verb. Usually we place the negative word before the main verb. But in case of sentences which have both auxiliary verbs and main verbs, where do we place it? 
let us see i do not eat fried snacks in this sentence eat is our main verb it is showing the main action now do is the auxiliary verb or the helping verb here it is helping us to understand the meaning of the main verb and it is helping us to form a negative sentence now we have placed the negative word not in between the auxiliary verb and the main verb so a negative verb is usually placed between the auxiliary verb and the main verb now let us try to do this exercise identify the verb and state its kind in the sentence given below sara mailed a letter to her pen pal in iceland now which is our verb here mailed is the verb here because it is showing as an action and here mailed is our main verb because it is showing as the main action in the sentence identify the auxiliary verb and the main verb in the sentence given below a table was reserved for the guests now let us first identify the verbs in this sentence we have was and reserved now here reserved is our main verb because it is showing us the main action of the sentence hence reserved is our main verb and was is a helping verb it is telling us the time that the main action is happening hence was is an auxiliary verb here so today we have revised our concepts of main verbs and auxiliary verbs don't forget to subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the delta step app to get all learning resources as per icsc cbsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures across maths science english and social science our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts that's not all you can also win amazing prizes like playstation ipad watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so learning at delta step is not just fun and easy it is also rewarding so register for free now